Hello and welcome back. We are in day 12 of this mule advanced training. So most of the security topics have been covered, but in this lecture, we'll just go through some sample questions which appeared in MCIA exam. And also we will differentiate between the mule soft responsibilities and the customer responsibilities in handling security. And also, I will quickly do a quick revision on API manager, how it works, how it implements the policies in detail. Uh, it will help you in uh, clearing some questions, answering some questions in your exam. This is a question from certification exam. Any point platform supports role based access control. Feature of the platform, right? An organization has configured an external identity management with any point platform. What aspects of RBAC role based access control must always be controlled from any point platform control plane and cannot be controlled via your external identity provider? What is it? Can you guess? Pause the video and see this four options and try to identify what what all what is the answer. Okay, hope you have passed and came here. I think you have some answer in your mind. So the answer is actually A. Assigning permissions to the role is done through the platform only. Okay, assigning roles to user it can be done by your identity provider, but assigning permissions to a role is done by done through platform only through any point platform control plane okay that means this one this ui so here only you'll be able to actually assign permissions to a role so click on the role select what runtime manager and select permissions right okay this is one question from certification definitely guaranteed okay next question when using any point platform across various lines of businesses with their own business group. So in your organization, you have a lot of LOBs, lines of businesses, and every LOB is having their own business group. Let's assume, right? When using that business groups, what configuration of any point platform is always performed at organization level, not at the business group level? Can you pause the video and try to identify your Op answer in all the options A, B, C, D. Hope you have paused and uh, had answer in mind. So actual answer is identity management setup. As I told you earlier also, identity management setup has to be performed at the organization level, not at the business group level, right? Okay. Now, how to authenticate the API clients? So till now we understood uh, role based, right? And identity providers. Now, when it comes to security, securing your APIs, how to authenticate API clients? Through API manager, we can apply a policy to secure APIs. So through your API manager here, I'll go to API manager. Here, uh, once you have your API, you'll be able to configure the policies. If I click on policies, apply a new policy. Here, I can configure OAuth policy or I can configure client ID enforcement policy or basic authentication policy. These are all the ways to secure your APIs through API manager, right? And a question again, what is required before API is implemented using the components of the platform can be managed and governed on any point platform? So before you implement the API and manage, right, what is required? 
can you just pause the video see the question and answer and keep an answer in your mind so hope you have paused and have answer in your mind the answer is api must be published to the exchange and a corresponding api instance id must be obtained from api manager to be used in api implementation so before you manage the api if you want your application to be managed by api manager first thing you need to do is you need to publish the api to exchange and get the corresponding api instance id once your api has an id then only it can be managed through the api manager right then only you can apply policies okay so when it comes to responsibilities of mule runtime security suppose if you are using MuleSoft hosted runtime plane, that means what? MuleSoft hosted runtime plane, Cloud Hub, right? So MuleSoft is responsible for securing both control plane as well as runtime plane. Customer, you have to secure only your apps. Customer is responsible for securing communication between Cloud Hub and on-premise system. So, if you are using Cloud Hub, let's assume that you are using Cloud Hub. Cloud Hub will manage the whole runtime plan. Security for runtime plan is managed by MuleSoft and also Control Plane, where we have API Manager, etc. Control Plane is also secured by MuleSoft. But let's say here you have your data center. The network communication between your own data center and your cloud of workers. It has to be managed by you, customer. MuleSoft is not responsible for managing the security between these things. So what you might have to do in cloud of, you might need to have your own VPC. And what you have to do? You have to configure a VPN between your own data center and your own VPC using some protocols like IPsec, etc. for securing the communication. So, when you are using MuleSoft hosted runtime plane, MuleSoft only secures both the planes, but customer is responsible for securing apps and customer is responsible for securing communication between cloud Hub and your on premise and for customer hosted runtime plane so runtime plane is managed by customer but mulesoft is responsible for securing control plane so suppose let's say you are using uh, uh, runtime fabric or let's say you are managing your own servers on premise that means customer hosted runtime plane MuleSoft will secure the control plane. Consumer secures is responsible for securing runtime plane and the apps. And for securing the communication between on-premise runtimes and control plane. So between control plane and runtime plane, securing the communication is a shared responsibility between MuleSoft and the customer. So, in case of runtime fabric, MuleSoft is responsible for securing the control plane, right? Customer secures the runtime and applications, as I told you, and uh, shared responsibility for securing communication between this runtime fabric and the control plane, right? Okay. How to secure Mule application endpoints? So, uh secure communication is a safe sharing of information that cannot be intercepted by a third party in middle right so for supporting that we can use cryptography whenever you are transferring some sensitive data you might have to uh, use either asymmetric encryption or symmetric encryption or uh, secure communication is supported using digital certificates. 
okay when you are actually communicating over internet you have to use it so mulesoft provides you various modules like there's a module called as cryptography module whenever you are writing your application you can use a cryptography module to actually do encryption decryption etc okay now coming to how to secure apis with api policies this is very important securing apis with policies using api manager so let me tell you so if this is your api manager let me copy this and i'll explain you clearly yep so we have our api manager in the control plane and let's assume that this is our mule runtime inside the mule runtime there will be a any point platform agent or we call it as uh, a simple agent a runtime manager agent or we call it as any point platform agent what this will do is it will pull the api manager and check are there any new policies configured for the current api as i told you api manager will assign a api instance id for your instance so whenever an api is running inside the uh, uh, runtime it will have its own instance id and whenever we are configuring policies we are configuring policies for this particular api instance right so whenever you configure any policy for your for your api the any point platform agent will pull the api manager regularly it will get the policy download the corresponding xml and place it in the policies folder okay so you can see this when a policy is configured in api manager the policy is downloaded to the connected runtime inside policies folder one important thing for certification some policies require modifying raml in such cases api proxy has to be redeployed to the runtime or the gateway but there are some policies right actually the, the these policies are then injected into api proxy policies can dynamically change without redeploying the proxy so actually some policies require your raml to be changed in such case you need to redeploy your api proxy so other proxies other policies can dynamically change without redeploying the api proxy or mule application <coughs> right and you don't need to uh, restart your mule runtime or gateway once you apply the policy on your api manager that's all they will be downloaded the policies will be downloaded to policies folder and automatically the prox the policy will be applied at the proxy level right we don't need to restart our mule runtime or restart our apis but remember importantly for certification exam this question is guaranteed i have seen it remember for some policies raml needs to be changed whenever you add a policy raml needs to be changed in some cases you need to redeploy your proxy right so normally in api manager the policies are configured at an api level for each api you might configure multiple policies but what you can also do in api manager is you can configure something called as automated policies right if i click on automated policy and apply a new automated policy i can configure one policy if i configure this at this level it will be applied to all the apis managed by this api manager right so if you want some policies to be common across all of your apis you can configure it again in certification these are the these questions also i saw regarding automated policies can we apply a policy 
which can be it should be applied to all apis managed by the api manager yes if you apply this automated policy okay so we'll see some more features related to securing apps and uh, runtimes in next video